so this is another problem from Miriam and Craig so this is a thin disk this is a thin disk and this disk is rotating about this Z axis so Z axis is the spin axis of the disk and this disk is mounted in this yoke so this is the yoke this disk is mounted on this yoke and this yoke rotates about OB this yoke rotates about OB with an angular speed omega 1 and this OB again rotates about the fixed y axis with an angular velocity omega 2 and you have to find out the velocity and acceleration of a point A fixed to the disk so <clears throat> here uh, so first let us concentrate on rotation about y so see suppose we watch it from the top so this is the disk and after some time the disk goes here if we give a rotation about y so see this is x this is z and this is y we are seeing it from the top like this we are seeing it from the top and we see it like this so just by giving a rotation about y we can bring the disk from here to here so this rotation is about this point but here you see the spin is about point b and the rotation about OB that is also about B so spin is about B and the rotation about OB is also about B but this rotation is not about B so what we can do is we can again bring the if you observe you will find that we can bring the disk from here to here by giving a translation we can bring it here and then we can give it a rotation to bring it into its actual position so, and this alpha is same as this alpha so instead of giving a rotation about this we we can translate it and bring it here then we can give a rotation about this so now all the three rotations are about this point but we have to additionally give one translation from here to here so that is what we are going to do so here you see this capital X capital Y capital Z are fixed to inertial reference so we call it N capital X capital Y capital Z inertial and with respect to this inertial suppose we take coordinates here which is parallel to X parallel to Y so this is parallel to Y this is parallel to y this is parallel to x and this is parallel to z so that is translating because that is fixed to b and that is translating yes here this is actually parallel to x this is parallel to z and parallel to y is coming towards you coming out of the paper so there is one translating reference we call it parallel n so it is consisting of the axis parallel x parallel y and parallel z then we give a rotation about this parallel to y then we give a rotation about parallel to y or rotation about y so let us make it parallel to y so and we get x dashed y dashed z dashed and we call it n1 but this x dashed y dashed z dashed is not shown then what we do we give a rotation about x dashed and we get coordinate system x y z which is actually fixed to the yoke so x y z is the coordinate system which is fixed to the yoke and about this z the disk is spinning 
so this small x small y this small x small y and small z are fixed to the yoke and it is shown and again the if you want to get the body fixed or disc fixed reference frame which we call n3 we call it x double dashed y double dashed z double dashed that is also not that is also not shown that is about this rotation takes place about z and actually z double dashed will be along this and at this instant of time this parallel x parallel y parallel z x dashed y dashed z dashed x y z and this x double dashed y double dashed z double dashed are coincident at the next instant they will be at different locations so this parallel n will tra will start translating this n1 will start rotating about parallel y and they will be they will be at different positions but at this instant they are coincident and that's what is shown in the book so as the clock proceeds they will take different positions so so first what is the angular velocity of n3 so it is actually first being given a rotation about capital y so omega 2 capital j then it is given a rotation about x dashed which is omega 1 x dashed minus omega 1 x dashed because it is in this direction it is in this direction so minus omega 1 i dashed so x dashed is also here and the unit vector along this is i dashed small i dashed so minus omega 1 i dashed and then p about small z or k so this is omega 2 capital z minus omega 1 i dashed plus p small k and since at this instant i dashed and i are coincident that is x and x dashed are coincident we can write it minus omega 1 and this capital j can be written as small j for this instant so at this instant this is rotation so capital j is replaced by small j i dashed is replaced by small small i dashed is replaced by small i and pk remains so in order to get alpha we have to differentiate but while differentiating we have to take this original one so omega 2 is constant and j is constant so the differentiation of this term will be zero and for this term it is minus omega 1 i dash dot that means minus omega 1 what is the angular velocity of i dash that is omega 2 j because i dash is actually rotating about capital y i dash is actually rotating about capital y so this is omega 2 capital j is the angular velocity of i dash so i dash dot would be omega 2 j cross i dash and k p is constant k dot will be the angular velocity of k which is omega 2 j minus omega 1 i dash minus omega 2 j minus omega 1 i dash cross k so once we get this now we can replace this once the differentiation part is over we can replace this j by small j this i dash by small i because at this instant they are coincident again capital j by small j and i dash by small i and this is what you get for alpha so we have now obtained omega and alpha so now you take this point fixed to the disk for this point fixed to the disk this uh, ba sorry here i have made a mistake this ba is r j so vb and what is the v what is vb vb is actually this point is b see this point is b this point is b so 
this point the center of the disc is actually translating in a circular path so the velocity of that will be tangent to the path velocity of that will be tangent to the path and the magnitude of the velocity is omega cross o2 this is o origin o2 b omega cross o2 b so vb is omega 2j cross ob and that is this so and va that is the velocity of this point is the velocity of this point b plus omega of the disk that means omega of n3 cross ba so this is va is equal to vb plus omega this is the omega of the disk cross ba and ba is r j so by using this we get va and if you want to get ab if you want to get a of acceleration of a so you have to use the formula a equal to ab so here you see a acceleration of a is equal to acceleration of b plus omega cross omega cross ba plus alpha cross ba so omega we know alpha we know ba we know only to get ab you know ab has a normal component in this direction which is omega cross omega cross ob and a tangential component which is alpha cross ob and here alpha is zero because while considering the motion of b b is actually rotating with an angular velocity omega 2 this b is just rotating with an angular velocity omega 2 and there is no alpha so here we will be having only the normal acceleration which is omega 2 cross omega 2 cross ob so that is the acceleration of b so acceleration of b is acceleration of b is omega 2 cross omega 2 cross ob this is zero this is null so only this part remains now acceleration of a is acceleration of b plus omega cross omega cross this is ba actually omega cross omega cross ba plus alpha cross ba so in this way you work out the problem so please work out and get the answers